This is a test for foil-backed bubble insulation that some roofing contractors are selling unsuspecting homeowners as a way to insulate a metal roof, which is not even necessary. This is a simple light bulb test, no flame involved, although I've already tested it with a flame and it burns readily. Uh, it doesn't make much of a video because it only lasts a few seconds. This is a foil backed both sides bubble insulation purchased from a local roofing supply house. I'm going to place it in front of the light bulb and as soon as we get it plugged in we're going to start the clock and let's see what happens with it. I can already hear the plastic bubbles that are sandwiched between this aluminum uh, starting to fail. They're expanding at a rapid rate as you might guess when they come under this heat and the bubbles are already starting to fail. And This aluminum foil is so thin that it doesn't stand up to too much abuse at all. Coming up on 30 seconds now and I can already see little bits of light coming through and the product is really starting to deform now. We're at 45 seconds At 57 seconds, light is coming through, which can't be a good thing because if light's coming through, there it is. There's a complete perforation at 105. One minute and five seconds, this little 200 watt light bulb has not only perforated this, it's also starting to smoke now. And although I haven't let it go on very long, I suspect that it would spontaneously combust if I let it go on long enough. We're coming up on 1 minute 30 seconds. I'll let it continue as long as we don't have a fire hazard here. One minute 45 seconds. Coming up on two minutes, two minutes now. So you can imagine after just two minutes what this product is doing and they expect it to last underneath of your roof for 50 plus years. I'm going to stop this at 2 minutes and 30 seconds. As you can see, ooh, that's hot too. We have a complete perforation. The plastic is showing signs of getting charred. And this product has failed miserably. 